Hi, so I'm Patrick Riley. I'm one of the leads of a group in Google research called Google Applied Science. And what we do is we try to bring all the great computational methods, especially AI and ML methods, to all kinds of natural science problems. And this is really such an exciting area for this general field because there's so many things going on. There's so much excitement about it. And it's really because a lot of the methods have really come a long way and there's a lot of opportunities now so in the talk, I'm gonna give a few uh, examples of how AI is being used in natural science problems. And we're really hitting a new point here where at first people were just like, well, I have some data, let me build a model and see what happens. But now we're really using these AI methods as a real part of the discovery. And so in two of the examples I'm gonna talk about, we're gonna show how we use AI models fundamentally as part of the search for new molecules and find a bunch of interesting things. And then in the last example, I'll, I'll get much uh, deeper into one of these questions that keeps coming up about how do we incorporate our physical knowledge into AI methods. And there's been a lot of talk about, well, we know a lot about symmetries, let's enforce those in our AI methods, but there's a much richer space there and there's a much richer set of things you can do in the space of how I bring in physical knowledge as part of an AI system. And this example I'll give that we call the Kuhn-Sham regularizer really gets into that, that point. I think it'll be really illustrative for people interested in that topic. 